Have you ever heard of soon? That's the question that we're asked at the start of Uoni, a new stealth horror game that traps a young, school-aged girl with a bunch of ghosts and forces her to play a deadly game. That sounds terrifying, but fear not, because I have a cheat code. If anybody ever asks you if you've heard of soon, just say yes, and then get the hell out of there. The best thing you can do is run far away from this boring, tedious, fright-free horror game from Japanese developer Tricor Inc. Yeah, consider this a warning. In case you're wondering, Soon was a boy who got sick and then died in the hospital as he waited for his friends to visit. Legend says that he's still waiting there to this day, hoping that somebody will come along and play a game with him. To I and her friends at school, this rumor is too tantalizing to resist. So they sneak into the old, boarded up hospital in an effort to find Soon and play his game. Now, if you've ever seen one of those horror movies where they specifically tell the hero not to do something and then they do it anyway, then you already know exactly what happens next. The young girl ends up summoning Soon, whose eyes and mouth have been replaced by three gaping black voids. He wants to play a game of Uoni, and if I ends up losing, her mind will be lost to the shadow void forever. This sets up a series of rounds where our grade school hero must track down a hidden doll and then burn it. Sounds simple, right? Well, don't get too confident, because this nightmarish world I is exploring is full of shadowy figures from the ghost realm that are there to keep her from winning the game. This sets up a short and incredibly frustrating stealth game where I must sneak around the haunted hospital avoiding supernatural creatures and destroying dolls. Now, we learn early on that most of the shadow people cannot see, but make up for it with exceptional hearing. This means that they'll know right where you are from your footsteps and breathing, forcing our young hero to hold her breath and crawl to safety. Sometimes she'll run into tall creatures that can't hear but have great eyesight. The goal is to slowly find the right path to the doll without being noticed, which usually means staying quiet and not stepping on the shards of glass. Once you've navigated the eye through the labyrinth of doors and corridors, she'll retrieve the doll and have to rush all the way back to the start of the level. That would be bad enough with the shadow characters haunting the halls, but it's made even worse by a smoke monster made up of nothing but eyeballs that chases her to the exit. If she can find her way back, she'll destroy the doll and win the game. But don't celebrate just yet, because she's going to have to repeat that process a whole bunch of times before the credits roll. As a stealth game, Uoni is about as simple as you can get. I is able to hide under beds and in lockers, but that's about it. There are no useful items to pick up and no distractions to throw. Just as long as I is holding her breath around the shadowy figures and not stepping on glass, she'll usually be okay. What makes this game challenging is doing all the stealth stuff while simultaneously trying to find where to go next. Although linear, it's not always clear where you're supposed to be going and what doors will lead you there. You see, Uoni is the type of game that relies almost entirely on trial and error. You'll likely get caught and die dozens of times while exploring each level's maze, all with the hopes that you'll learn and memorize the path. Where this falls apart is after you've found the doll and you're running back to the start of the level. With that smoke monster always nipping at eyes heels, all it takes is one wrong turn and she'll be stuck in a dead end. Literally. And beyond simply being frustrating, the trial and error structure also sucks a lot of the scares out of the game. Instead of being freaked out by the imagery or affected by a jump scare, I found myself just rolling my eyes every time a shadow character noticed me. You'll spend so much time memorizing the layout and locations that it all becomes too predictable, which might as well be the death knell for a horror game. And it's actually worse than that, because Uoni is also tedious. 
you'll have to play the exact same game with Soon four different times, and each of those times will be set in the exact same locations. Sure, the layouts will be different, and the key you need to find will be in a new spot, but it's always the same locations. Worse yet, it never feels like it's actually building to something. Instead, what you get are four levels that are, for all intents and purposes, identical. Now, it doesn't help that the graphics look dated and the audio choices are all wrong. It also doesn't control especially well, what with eye getting caught on the beds, televisions, tables, and pretty much everything else in the environment. And then there are the rampant bugs. There was a door that wouldn't let me out, no matter how hard I tried. I mean, I could walk through it, but it warped me right back into the room. Yeah, it was a glitch, but it's the perfect metaphor for a game that does little more than play the same note over and over and over until you can't take it anymore. Yuoni has a compelling setup that is totally squandered by a tedious adventure with nothing new or interesting to say. It's a horror game that lacks scares, instead opting for trial and error gameplay that is a lot more frustrating than it is fun. And even though it's a brief adventure that can be completed in a single sitting, the plotting pace and repetitive level designs make it feel like a 12 hour slog. Yeah, Yuoni is not a game worth holding your breath for. Hey, thanks for watching our review. If you liked what you saw here, then you should know that we post new reviews and features almost every day. Now, here's the question I have for you. What is the most disappointing horror game that you've ever played? Let me tell you, this is right up there, but there are just so many to choose from. I can't wait to see your picks in the comments below. Alright, it might be Friday, but I'm already working on a bunch of reviews and features for next week, including something that's been 13 years in the making. Mm, I can't wait to show that off. While you wait for that, I strongly recommend you click that subscribe button and support what we're doing here. Until then.